Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are unfamiliar with me, my name is Maddie, I'm 19. So today we have a very fun video and I'm super excited for this one. I oh, I feel like you can tell because I do a lot of these, but I love Q and A's. I love answering questions because I think it's nice to be able to see somebody who's real online. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm going to be doing answering all of your awkward, cringy, silly questions, most embarrassing questions. I did a question thing on my Instagram and I asked people to send me questions. And so, I'm going to be answering some of them here. Unfortunately, not a lot of people send me questions. And I'm not just, I'm, just, I'm not sure if that's just because people don't like me or people were busy or whatever. I'm not even taking it personally, not but hurt, but whatever. So I might have to ask myself some embarrassing questions. We'll see, I just put out like a cry for help on Instagram to see if people would like help me out, but we'll see. So, without further ado, let's just, you know, answer some questions. Let's just do it. Question number one. What is my favorite improvised meal from the college cafeteria? This is a good question. I am super picky about my food. If you know me well, you know that I pretty much only eat pizza, mac and cheese, grilled cheese, and pasta. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I don't have the best diet. And I would say my favorite improvised meal would be stir fry though. I do like making stir fry. I remember the first time I tried to make it, I didn't know how because I'm a terrible cook. Next question. Most embarrassing time you ever met someone's parents for the first time? My god. I actually, okay, I don't mean to like toot my own horn, but I think I'm really good with parents. Way better with parents than I am with kids. Like, I'm super awkward with people my age. I don't know how to relate to them. I like cannot talk to them. I'll just be like, <laughs> but I can talk to parents. So I don't, I can't remember a single embarrassing time I've ever had in front of somebody else's parents. I usually charm the parents, don't always charm the kids. So, favorite finger? I think my hands are really freaky looking. I don't know. Not not my favorite. Um, I would probably say my pinky because it's cute. I have like tiny little stubby fingers. So describe your imaginary friend if you had one growing up. Growing up. So I didn't have an imaginary friend. I wasn't that kid, but I was the kid who believed that I was magical. So I'll tell you that story. I genuinely used to believe I was a werewolf for like the all of third grade. I would like howl at the moon. I thought because I had canine teeth, that was a sign. I was trying to convert people to my werewolf cult, you know, in third grade. So yeah, I, you can say I have an active imagination. I also believed during that time that I was simultaneously a werewolf, a waterbender, a mermaid from H2O, was about to get my Hogwarts letter, was probably a demigod, and I also thought that I had powers. I thought I could control electricity because once I blinked at, a, at lights and then there was a blackout. Of course, when I blinked at it again, I couldn't turn it back on, but I thought my power was malfunctioning. What is an embarrassing moment that makes you automatically cringe? Okay, so I'm one of those people, like I'm super, super loud and rambunctious and fun if I'm in a small group, but if I don't know a lot of people, like I will be very quiet. I will try not to, like, I, I, I get shy. I close into my shell. And I was doing that in the dining hall. I wasn't talking to anybody um, at college. I was feeling super shy, even though my school's not that big. And I was sitting there trying to make a sandwich, like a panini. There was a panini press. And I didn't want to talk to anybody because I was just like, no. And so I was standing there for 10 minutes and there's like a line behind me at this point. And I'm just like, you know, standing there waiting for my panini and I keep checking it and it doesn't look like it's getting any more seared. And I'm like, what the heck is happening? And then finally, the guy behind me says, hey, I think you have to turn it on <laughs> first. And I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my God, I am 19. I didn't even notice it wasn't turned on. I, Cause the guy before me had turned it off when they left. So I was like, oh my God. Another embarrassing story is when I was in kindergarten, I fell into the toilet. I just missed the, the flush thing and I fell right in. Had to come out and during the middle of my circle time and explain that. Have you ever picked your nose and eaten a booger? Yes, I have done that. How do you feel about pineapples? I love pineapples. I think they're so yummy. I know that they're technically eating me back when I'm eating them because they have like the little enzymes. It's some science fact, but I love pineapples. Okay, let's see if anybody else asks. Wow, people are such fake fake friends right now. Nobody's asked a question. Okay, you know what? We're gonna pause. I'm gonna look up some embarrassing questions and then I will get right back to you. All right, hello, I am back. So I just Googled 
embarrassing questions to ask and I came up with a list of 400 truth or dare questions so you know if you're gonna play truth or dare these are kind of good I don't have enough time to sit here and talk about 400 things and I don't really want to expose myself for 400 times so I'm just gonna answer 15 because 15 is my lucky number it's the day of my birthday April 15th everybody so I'm just gonna answer the first 15 except there are a couple repeats so I will just skip the repeats and just go more but I will be answering 15 in total questions okay what was the last thing you searched for on your phone so I'm pretty sure it was embarrassing questions to ask yourself but I don't think that really counts so I'm just gonna say the last thing I searched up was what's up with GameStop because I've been a little confused following all the information on the news with like you know GameStop and everything that's happening clearly I'm like you know in it with politics right now and the news second question if you had to choose between going naked or having your thoughts appear in thought bubbles above your head for everyone to read which would you choose oh my god this is so hard because I'm super I'm a super private person and I don't really like showing any bit of my body like I never take bikini photos or anything like that but at the same time I'm also super judgmental oh god I'm sorry I'm gonna have to be I'm gonna have to be that girl and tell you my thoughts I can't I just can't show my body yet I'm just not that comfortable because a lot of people comment on it and it just makes me insecure because not that I'm not comfortable with my own body but I don't feel comfortable I don't trust people to treat me with the respect that I freaking know I deserve so I'll just be I'll just be a bitch when I walk outside and you'll see all my mean thoughts after you've dropped a piece of food, what's the longest time you've left it on the ground and then eat it? Probably not more than five seconds. I know the five second rule doesn't even apply, but like I have done it after five seconds, but also my ground's kind of nasty in my kitchen. Like it's so old and like dusty, so I would not eat it now. I think I was younger. Have you ever played Cards Against Your Humanity with your parents? Yes, I have. What's the first thing you would do if you woke up one day as the opposite sex? Keep in mind that PSA, there's so many more than just the binary two sexes. I just want to say that. So I think this is a little, you know, outdated, these questions. But if I woke up one day and was happened to be, you know, identified as a boy, I guess the first thing I do is run at night. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be sweet if I could run at night and not be afraid. Have you ever peed in the pool? No, no. I have respect for the other people who are in the pool with me. I have not peed in the pool. Who do you think is the worst dressed person in this room? Well, I'm the only person in this room and I think I dressed amazing today, so. Next question. Have you ever farted in an elevator? I don't think so. I think it's the same for me with the pool. True or false? You have a crush on, oh my God, this is so hard. I don't actually like anybody right now. I like anybody real. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, everybody's real, but oh my god, this is so embarrassing. But I had a huge crush on one of the characters in Legend of Korra. I thought he was so cute. <laughs> like, um, the kid, the guy Mako. Let me do like a real actor or somebody, because I always have crushes on actors. Oh my god, what am I thinking of? Oh my god, well, I, I like marry Timothy Chalamet. I would marry Harry Styles. I'd be fine to date. Is there any? Oh my gosh, no, I can't date him. TBD, we're gonna get back to this one. What are some things you think about when sitting on the toilet? When I was in third grade, I just remember distinctly coming up with this memory while I was using the restroom. I came up with a whole story about a ladybug and its mom, and I was really proud of it too. Have you ever practiced kissing in a mirror? Yes, I used to do it when I was little, but not for the reasons that you think I wasn't doing it because I was preparing for like, you know, when I was younger for my first kiss. I was doing it more because I liked to seeing, oh my God, this is so gross, but I liked seeing what my lips looked like, like if I kissed the mirror, like <laughs> what the little outline would look like. And so yes, when I was younger, I used to do that like five or six and then there'd be a bunch of little kisses on the mirror and I'd have to go wipe it up. What is your guilty pleasure? I absolutely am obsessed with the show Law & Order. I just love the law part. Like I love the trials. I'm like, oh my God, they're talking about mens rea now. Like I, I don't know why I know all these legal terms, but I'm also interested in like co constitutional law, all that kind of stuff. What is your worst habit? I bite my nails. That's not very good. And I can be like it, it during a fight if I decide the fight's not worth it I sometimes just walk away in the middle because I just am like it's not worth it but that's really rude so I need to work on that have you ever peed yourself so unfortunately the answer is yes I think this is normal though so I ran in this one race once I ran so fast and so hard that like when I finished my muscles collapsed and like I peed a little bit it's very embarrassing now, now everybody knows, but that happened to me once. It was, it was sad. And then, do you sleep with a stuffed animal? 
Yes, I do. I sleep with a bunch. I love my stuffed animals. My favorite one is a little green pig named Piggy because he's a very specific scent and I like holding him when I'm sleeping. Let's see, I'm just gonna check one more time and see if anybody answers my request for, yep, everybody's fake. Okay, well anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I actually had a lot of fun kind of just realizing these things about myself. Clearly I'm so flawed <laughs> and I just shared that all with you, but I really enjoyed talking to you all and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate comments and I try to respond to them and I really love you all. Thank you for all of your support and I wish you all the best rest of your day. Bye. Darling, you